As customers build 100% virtualized data centers and from there move to private clouds, we've heard some common requests for management. Customers want interactive searchable tools that map across the entire IT stack, show them that relationships and dependencies in a fluid, ever-changing environment can be mashed up in flexible ways and is fast, agentless, and simple and easy to use. Introducing EMC Ionics Data Center Insight. Logging into the GUI, you can see that it's a simple, clean Web 2.0 type interface. If we search for an individual host, and you can free text search for anything that you'd like, you can see that we'll quickly find a host that matches those criteria, and you can see detail across the IT stack, networking, storage, and applications across the main view. But you'll also notice that you can do a drill down to get detail both logical and physical from a storage, networking, and also for the underlying Cisco UCS structure. If we select that tab, you can see that it correlates it to the actual chassis and blade infrastructure of that particular UCS system. And if you drill down further, you can get correlated views across the storage domain for any individual blade, as well as expanding out and getting that same cross-domain view for networking. So for example, here we can see the underlying storage that is presented to the blade, as well as the network that's being used for all of the interfaces. You can drag and drop and move everything around in a fluid way. Now, the next thing is, of course, you're using VMware. So you want to see this map extend not just to the physical layers, but also to the virtual world. Let's search for another host. This host happens to be a vSphere ESX4 host. If we right click on it, you can see the UCS structure. So for example, the system blades and chassis. We can click on VM relationships and this will show all the VMs that are running on that particular ESX host. And for any VM, you can click on uh, cross domain view and applications. Clicking on applications, you see all of the applications that are running on the VM. And if we right click and say for uh, cross domain view, you'd see the applications, the networking, and the storage infrastructure that supports that particular VM. Now what if you want detail on something? Let's use storage as an example. Let's pull up that same vSphere ESX4 host that we were looking at earlier and right click on it and start to take a look at some of the details. For example, for storage logical connectivity. This view brings up the relationships between the underlying data stores, whether they're VMFS or NFS, the back-end storage that supports those, the actual array that th that storage is on, and the back-end infrastructure behind the array. You can drill down further behind those items, and you can also get detailed views on any logical item here. You can click and select multiple items in the detail, cut and paste it between various applications. Now, what if you want to go in the opposite direction? You want the big picture. Let's just say, hypothetically, the relationships and the dependencies that support emc.com. Now, if we search for emc.com, We'll, it'll find the resource group that meets that application profile. So taking a look at this view, just like any enterprise application at most of our customers, it's a very complex set of relationships. But here you can quickly and easily visualize them, all the way through clients to the web server tier, through the app tier, through the back-end database. And for any one of them, you can do a drill down in many directions. You can do a drill down to see the underlying Cisco UCS infrastructure, you can see the underlying storage and networking topologies. You can see the underlying applications that are running on any one of the individual hosts. So detail as well as the top level relationship view for something huge like an enterprise application. Information is powerful, but it's more powerful when it's in the context that you like the best. Like for example, vCenter. Let's open up vCenter 4. And you can see that here we've got our view. We've got a particular VM that perhaps might not be performing particularly well. Simply go to the EMC Data Center Insight tab. You can get all of the views that we've shown you earlier as well. You can see things like alerts. Uh, for example, here we're, we're tracking CPU utilization across these various VMs and hosts. And just like we did earlier, you can click down to see either a drill down down to the physical infrastructure, up to the virtual infrastructure, for example, in this case here, if we want to take a look at the CPU utilization across these blades in the chassis, we can see that this particular blade is running at a CPU utilization over 95%. That's AMC Ionics Data Center Insight, and is that cool or what?